So the last video I made was kind of a uh, what do you do when your yard's full video and you go to your neighbors, etc. And so uh, this is sort of next level. Uh, what do you do when your yard's full? Um, I just took over this property as far as maintenance goes. Um, they have five acres and uh, probably two and a half of that is mowing. So I uh, got the landowner, the homeowner's permission uh, to go ahead and populate this thing with uh, whatever I feel like. They just gave me carte blanche and they said, yeah, whatever. They're kind of laid back. So, uh, so what I'm doing is this is the premiere uh, video of this property is not going to be much exciting. I got a couple little ceilings that I put in. Uh, what I'm doing today, this is a Tub O Thrinax Radiata, probably about 300 seeds. And so I'm going to just distribute them close to the margin uh, of where they cleared this land. I have a feeling there was a lot of palmetto in here before whoever it was that owned the property before cut it all out. I've seen uh, shredded uh, palmetto stumps from where they must have come through and just hacked it up so anyway uh, I'm gonna put these down today uh, two weeks ago I had a couple hundred uh, carifa seeds uh, you tan threw those out into here not a couple hundred maybe 130 40 and I took a bunch of um, barasses seed and I stuck them in a wooded area over there uh, and, and got them started they were all sprouted so I just sort of put the roots into the ground and We'll see what comes of that. So I'll show you a few examples of other things that I planted, but my intention is to uh, just get as many species as I can planted in here. Basically, every all the crap that I have in my seedling collection and in containers uh, will be in here. So maybe 40 or 50 species of palms. Uh, so it'll be a nice collection. Plus, they're going to get a bunch of fruit trees uh, this winter, so we'll we'll put some fruit trees in here as well. Here's an unknown cyagris that I stuck in the ground. Might be a coronata. But I lost track of what it was, so I can't sell it to anybody. So that's why it becomes a free poem that I've put on the property. And over there is a Cariota hybrid. It's, uh, I'm assuming Maxima, but it was a single-stemmed uh, Cariota times Midas. So it'll, it'll clump, but not quite like a Midas. So that's just a couple of the palms that are going in. Here's another little feathery job. I have no clue what this is. The parent plant looked like something between a Carpentaria and an Arcana Phoenix. But the seeds were not, um, uh, they, were, they were not Arcana Phoenix, I can rule that out. Uh, but they didn't really, they were too big to be uh, Carpentaria, so I have no idea what this is. I think the mother's dead too, I think the coal got it. But I got maybe two dozen of these seedlings, so I'm planting them everywhere to see what comes up, including in my yard. These two coconut palms are a good indicator of uh, maybe what we can do on this property. Um, right up on a pond here and the pond's certainly a good thermal battery. The last major freeze event we had was in December 7th of 2010 so that early in the year um, this pond was probably still warm. We took 27 maybe 26 this far west which is kind of the cutoff for coconuts but with this pond maybe they were spared. So these are always for me a good indication that if you've got some taller coconuts growing on the property that you can get away with uh, doing some stuff. One other nice thing about this property is it has a whole row of these uh, Australian pines. I think that's a common name. I, Australian, yeah, that might be it. It's it's um, Castle Rhine Equisetifolia, I think, or something like that. But anyway, whatever these are, they're flanking the um, western and a little bit of the northern line of the property, which is cool. It's kind of a windbreak. They suck as far as hurricanes, and they will freeze, but. During mild winters, uh, when the winds blow, and this will this will help the property too.